Queenslanders could be slugged with another tax with the likely introduction of a state-based flood levy to be collected through rates, power or water bills. But the Federal Treasurer is questioning why we'd need to pay when half the recovery money handed over to the state still hasn't been touched. Frustrated having to pay millions in repairs every time a flood-prone town is hit by disaster, the government is now looking at imposing a special levy on Queenslanders. The constantly going back and replacing things in the same way in the same location um, is not giving us best value for money. It would fund a billion dollar program to help flood proof towns and infrastructure. The levy aimed at saving millions long term could be charged for up to five years. Still it's a hard sell on top of big electricity and water price hikes. What I'm asking is whether or not people believe the short-term pain is worth the long-term community gain. This is Newman's big new tax on families that they don't need at this point in time. The local government association's president will need some convincing. It is an idea that's worth considering, however, we need to see detail. I think that's a good idea. You know, share the load. Not an approval of that, no, because my area doesn't flood, so why should I pay? I'd be prepared to pay, within reason. The Federal Treasurer is puzzled, having already approved billions for flood recovery. Six billion dollars, of which three, three of those unspent. No wonder the government's reluctant to confirm what a flood levy could cost. I understand up to $25 a quarter added to people's rate bills is being considered. Spencer Jolly, Nine News.